Hello, Bill Edstrom here, and I'm going to show you another new feature in Traction T7, and it's automation ramps. So you can take an automation pattern and ramp it up or ramp it down, and it's probably easier to see than it is to understand from just talking about it. So I'm going to explain how it works, and I'm going to use the Hornet Wawa, which is a newer plugin from Hornet Plugins, and to get started with the commercial part of the video right off the bat, if you want to learn more about Traction T7, check out my book guide to Traction T7. Go to leanpub.com, search for the word Traction, and you'll find my book there. Now, if you want to see video demos of new features in Traction, you can check out my video series called Traction T7 Upgrade Explained, which is available from Groove3. Go to groove3.com, also search for the word Traction or T7 and you'll find the video there. Also, I'm using the Hornet Wawa Guitar plugin from Hornet Plugins, which is very, very affordable and a really cool and useful plugin if you'd like to get sweepable filters that you can easily automate. All right, so let's get into an example of how to use these new tools. So I'm going to start with the Hornet Wawa plugin, which is inserted on this track. Here is the track with the Hornet plugin, and I'll show you that you can manipulate the wah pedal using this arrow. Now, in order to do this with automation, we drag this A onto the plugin, and it uses wah level. I don't think the naming of that makes a lot of sense, but anyway, that's what it is. That gives us an automation curve. So we're going to use the new Traction T7 feature that allows you to create a pattern. So you put the in marker and the out marker over the range that you want to apply this effect. So I'll just kind of apply it toward the end of this guitar part. I'll click Create Pattern Between the Marked Region. That allows me to choose a shape for the automation. And I'm going to choose a sine wave. And then from there, I can choose a, either a number of repetitions between the in marker and out marker, or I can choose a beat division. I'm going to choose two beats. So we'll rock the wah pedal back and forth over every once every two beats. So that's giving us pretty much a full excursion of the pedal. But I want to change the intensity of that. First, I want to just demonstrate two existing features, which is Displace Curve and Scale Curve. The Scale Curve slider, when you select the automation curve in the clip, when you drag over this, you can see you can squeeze down the height of that curve. And then if you use Displace, you can position it. So with the height squeezed down, I can kind of adjust the center frequency I'm using for this wah effect. So if you want to sweep around a higher frequency to sound more trebly, you can adjust it that way. So I'm going to get this set up the way I'd like to hear it. All right. Now I'm going to also want to change where the intensity of this builds over time. So I want to start here with a lower and then build it out. Now you could start manipulating all these nodes, and this is what you'd have to do in the past, but there's new modifiers to this displace and scale, and you'll see them right down here. So I'm gonna click ramp from start of the marked region. That kind of pins the end of it in place and does the scaling here. So now I'm gonna, with that clicked, I'm going to scale, and you'll see that this starts to bring down the front of the curve. So then it sweeps up like this. So it starts darker. Now I can adjust how dark it sounds using the displace, and you can bring up the front of that. So this gives you a really interesting way to tailor this kind of effect 
And so I'll just bring that up a little bit more. You could put it in the center, but basically where you want it to come in, and then we're gradually sweeping up the center frequency. And you can, you can also see that the excursion of the wah modulation is increasing as well. I'll undo this back to here, and you can see you can do this from the other end as well. So instead of here, I'm going to choose this modifier, ramp from the end of the marked region. Now as I scale the curve, you can see it scales down on the end, which will take the center frequency down, 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 getting it darker and darker over time. <laughs> So those are some cool new features. They create pattern between the marked region and then these modifiers for displace and scale that allow you either ramp up from the end or ramp up from the start of any marked region. So I think those are some great creative tools for working with automation in Traction T7 and those are some new things you may have overlooked. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.